autumn, a season of change and reflection. The weather becomes colder, each day grows shorter, the leaves explode in vibrant splashes of reds, oranges, and yellows. For many areas of the world, it's a time to show thanks for the fruits of labor from each year's harvest season. There are many festivals and celebrations deeply rooted in this season. Along with it, numerous legends and folktales that have been passed on throughout the generations. One such festival that is surrounded by these fantastical stories is the Mid-Autumn Festival. Celebrated on the 15th day of the 8th month on the lunar calendar, an ancient calendar that tracked the progression of time by following the moon's cycles. It continues to be one of the most celebrated seasonal festivals across the world. Let our story begin. Once upon a time, Earth was quite a bit different than the one that we know today. There were 10 suns up in the sky. Living conditions were dreadful for people all over the world. Each day was unbearably hot, and there was often little to no water around. Farmers were unable to grow much, and as a result, everyone had little to eat and were miserable. A legendary archer named Ho Yi, after seeing how everyone suffered so much, wanted to do something to save humanity and make their lives better. Using his incredible skill, he was able to shoot down nine of these suns, leaving just one left in the sky, which would bring happiness and prosperity throughout the land. For his hard work and valiant efforts for the people of Earth, Ho Yi was to be awarded a gift by the Queen Mother of the West. Wanting to spend life with his beautiful and loving wife Chang Er forever, the Queen Mother of the West granted Ho Yi's request to be given the elixir of immortality. The elixir was to be split between them and was enough for both of them to be together for eternity. Upon returning home, Ho Yi explained about the elixir to his wife. She was so delighted about this gracious gift from the Queen Mother of the West, and they made a plan to wait until the 15th day of the 8th lunar month. This would be when the moon was meant to be the fullest and brightest, and would allow them to admire its beauty while taking the elixir together. Just at this moment, while the two were discussing the elixir and their plans to consume it, a wicked man named Feng Meng overheard them speaking. Deciding the prospect of living forever was too good to pass up, <laughs> he began hatching a plan to steal the elixir for himself. The 15th day of the 8th lunar month finally arrived, and Ho Yi had gone out hunting. Seizing this opportunity while Ho Yi was away, Feng Meng rushed to Chang Er's home and forced her to give him the elixir. Knowing that she would not be able to defeat Feng Meng on her own, with no other choice, she took the whole elixir before he could steal it. Since the whole elixir was meant to be for two of them, the double portion caused an interesting side effect. She began slowly floating up to the sky. As Ho Yi was returning home, he could see his darling wife going higher and higher, but there was nothing that could be done. Although she could never return back to Earth to reunite with Ho Yi, she decided to live on the moon to be as close to him as she could. When the moon was fullest and brightest on the same 15th day of the 8th lunar month, Ho Yi and Chang Er would have an opportunity to see one another from afar. To show his endless dedication and love towards his wife, Ho Yi would make and arrange all of her favorite dishes, such as a selection of fruits and mooncakes. As the years went on, these gestures of love would be passed on through the generations. Traditions would be formed, and the Mid-Autumn Festival would come to be known as a symbol of family reunion, where loved ones gathered together to share mooncakes, hang up lanterns, and admire the full moon in the night sky. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival to everyone! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, click on the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos, and we'll see you in the next one.